Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for today's video. My name is David and I'm a life coach and I make videos for you guys just to supply information, hopefully to help you guys heal from different emotional trauma. Major one is narcissistic relationships. So today's video is about the Captain Caveman narcissist. And I could just say the caveman type narcissist, right? Um, but it's not the same. The Captain Caveman, it's got a cape on. Um, before I dive into today's video, I'd really appreciate it for all of you if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel, voting on this video, sharing it with others, commenting down below, saying hi, asking questions, I'll answer them. Really would appreciate your support. Thank you very much. So today, today's video, the Captain Caveman Narcissist. A lot of you guys might not even have heard of, the, of what Captain Caveman is, and it comes from an old cartoon. Um, I think it, it was before my time, but I was watching reruns when I was a kid. It was always on. And I love it. It is just the perfect cartoon character to describe the kind of typical ego, kind of ignorant male narcissist. Okay? Um, if you don't know what it is, you could go look on YouTube. I put it, uh, put the picture on the thumbnail if YouTube allows me to keep it. Um, it, it is the male narcissist that is ignorant, immature, controlling, competitive, sexist, delusional, insecure, full of ego and pride, the performer. Okay? Typically looks, literally, I don't usually do this much, but typically looks like, might be big, typically. So, so either really overweight, obese, fat, or big, big muscles, or maybe both, fat and muscular. Um, typically drinks alcohol, eats red meat, but maybe drinks milk with dinner. Uh, total slob, messy, or dirty. Might, might not look dirty, but really like gross as hell, doesn't wash his hands and stuff like that. Totally dirty. And, and don't even start saying the typical male. Don't do that, because that's not. <laughs> it's not. <clears throat> the illusion that he lives by is, I look like a man's man. But when you dig deeper, you'll see that I'm really a woman's man. Totally delusional. In reality, he has no male friends, just maybe a couple associates, doesn't respect them at all, completely sexist, and his answer to everything for women is, well, you're a woman, you're a female, that's why. Females are belongings, right? He wants his cave woman, and totally insecure around men. Even though he might be bigger and stronger and muscular. Rah, 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 totally puffs his chest out all the time. And, and it's all ego and pride because he always feels challenged. So he challenges and competes with other men all the time. And you may not even know that right away. You may not see that right away. It might take things like uh, you do something good or something great or helpful. And then even thank you. Not even mention it. Come up with a good idea. Blah, blow it down. But he's so delusional because, remember, this isn't just the caveman. This is the caveman with the cape on. So he believes he is physically healthy, even though he's just could be morbidly obese. Downplays these things all the time, right? I'm not that big. You know, I'm muscular, though. You know, I'm strong. I work out. I, I exercise. Or, uh, no, I don't have diabetes. It's just a minimal diabetes. I don't really have to worry about things like this. But I am emotionally healthy. Matter of fact, this is what emotionally healthy looks like. And he's just completely, completely, completely emotionally stupid. No idea. Has no idea how he feels or anything. Can't talk about how he feels. Can't listen to you. Doesn't ask you. Doesn't understand. No empathy. Nothing. He projects. He projects. So he prides himself that he doesn't have pride and doesn't have an ego, but completely does. Judges and excuses. Excuses to have bad toxic behavior and judges and just labels people. They're fat, meaning she's just stupid. Oh, he's just lazy. Um, they're just slow. That's the codependency. Can't do anything for himself. Controlling. So, so controlling. No boundaries. Has no idea what boundaries means at all because boundaries are where you feel comfortable and he can't understand that. You can try and try and try for days and weeks and months and years Decades, won't matter, never understands, never gonna get it completely over his head. It doesn't matter if you try to explain to him something that is happening to you and it could have happened to him 10 times in his life 
won't matter. It has to be happening to him to understand it because he has no empathy. We'll look through your belongings. We'll walk into your house and go through your drawers and look in your purse, ask inappropriate questions, pays for everything, tries to pay for everything. And, and you, you can just say, oh, hold on, uh, I'm out of you know paper towels. And then you'll have four or five cases of paper towels the next day. You know, oh, you, 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 should, you should have this and you should have that. Always telling you what you should have and you should be safe and have locks on your doors. I'll put locks on your doors, but then always has the codes to them and can walk in anytime he wants, but he's there to make you feel safe. Complete illusion. The real problem, the real problem is not us, it's the narcissist. And the, the men that he talks about, that he hates all the time, he doesn't understand that it's him himself that he hates, that he totally rejects, he's totally insecure, can't make himself feel secure, totally dependent on you and everybody else around them, and he's gotta, gotta be accepted, so he tries to be a man's man, you know, maybe the goatee, and I drink, and rah, 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 and let's barbecue every single day, and you know, but really, oh, I'm a sensitive man that cares about your feelings, but I won't even understand them at all, because I need you, I need it you. So I'm going to do whatever I can to get you in my life and I will lie and I will posture and I will pose and I'll pretend and I'll manipulate and I don't even know who I am. So I'll just say I'm whoever you want me to be just to catch you, to get you in his little webbed. It's, it's, it's like the knock you over the head, put you over his shoulder. Now you're his cave woman. But he understands that doesn't work in society. So he says, oh, I'm, I'm a good, big, strong man. I'll protect you and, oh, and knock everybody else around him down and talk crap about everybody and judge them. Really judging himself, not accepting himself, rejecting himself and talks about and projects about everything he hates about himself. So every you listen to the men like this and everything he says he doesn't like about everybody else is what he doesn't like about himself. That is the Captain Caveman Narcissist, not just the caveman. See, he's got the cape. I'm great. I'm amazing. I pay for everything. I buy you everything you need. And I'm just, you know, rah, I'm strong. I told this person off and I told him what he never run. I know you've all known one, seen one, come across one or two. Tell me your experiences, please. I enjoy them so much. And I think the biggest part of my videos are your guys' comments down below, questions and your own experiences that you share. And I appreciate all of you for doing that. Thank you. That's it, guys. Tell me what you think. Ask questions. Let me know. Share your experiences. Thank you. All of you, love yourself first, and I will see you soon.